So in this experiment of uh, meter bridge to find out the unknown resistance, experiment number two and three, both the experiment have similar connections. So if you can understand this one, uh, meter bridge to find out the unknown resistance, you can also um, the next experiment experiment number three also you can easily uh, perform. So here it's the application of uh, the meter bridge is the application of the Houston bridge. Houston bridge has four four arms, four resistors R1, R2, let's say R3 and R4. R3 let's say your unknown one. And when the you know that the theory, if the current will not flow through this galvanometer meter part, the uh, IG is equal to zero. At this position, it will be a balanced condition. Using the Kirchhoff's rules, you can find um, find out this relationship that R1 by R2 is left by left equal to right by right. The unknown by R4. There is a relationship you know from this Western bridge. Now, as I told you, this is the application of Western bridge. Here also four resistance are there. Uh, in uh, R1 here, R2 unknown resistance here, right? Uh, here, these are the two resistance from the mid galvanometer is connected. From the midpoint, galvanometer is connected to another terminal which is connected through the jockey to the conducting wire. And this is a scale of 100 meter. This is a scale of 100 meter. Now, we will place the jockey at different positions of this uh, conductor and when the galvanometer will show no deflection that means uh, no current is flowing IG is equal to 0 at this condition balance condition it will satisfy the this relationship R1 by R2 is R3 by R4 so here R1 will give you the resistance though this is a resistance box the value uh, of the resistance box will be your R1 let's say it's uh, whatever you will take it out or let's say 1000 or 5000 R1 L1 will be the length this length there is a scale here over the uh, conductor so the let's say 100 100 centimeter right so let's say the scale is at uh, 50 cent uh, 40 centimeter you are getting the null point there is zero deflection in the galvanometer uh, 40 centimeter so your uh, L1 will be 40 now x x will be here and 100 minus L1 if this part is uh, 40 next part will be 60 100 minus 40 that will be 60 so 100 minus 40 will write that is 60 I will just cross multiply and find out, find out the unknown resistance right I think uh, this theory is clear this is the circuit diagram for your meter bridge this is resistance box this is unknown resistance and from the midpoint you have connected the galvanometer to this here uh, your jockey uh, this is the rod for jockey and this is your jockey now you will connect the uh, battery or the power source at this two terminal here and here you will connect the uh, power source right uh, your battery eliminator or the voltage that you will provide you can provide the voltage from this two end because here you see these two resistors in midpoint we are providing the voltage so here also these two, re two resistors and this is length in between the midpoint we will connect the we will provide the power source right so this is the theory but now let's go to the experiment today in this experiment we will find out the unknown resistance you can find uh, of a wire or a standard resistor here we have used a standard resistor and we will find out its unknown resistance using this meter bridge so as we have seen in the theory, it's the application of Western bridge and uh, here one wire is there and one scale is there. The scale is of 100 centimeter or 1 meter and um, there are two gaps. Here one gap is there, here another gap is there. One gap we have connected with a, your resistance box. We have taken a resistance box of 10 up to 10,000 ohm and uh, so this is connected in uh, your left gap you can connect to any terminal because no positive negative for this one now where we'll put the source voltage we'll provide some voltage to it this is our battery eliminator we have connected and the battery eliminator will plug it Now this battery eliminator is connected and this is but this my battery eliminator can uh, this output is maximum up to 12 volt right before 
I start the experiment, I'll switch it off, I'll keep it in off position. One terminal I'll, of the battery eliminator output, I'll connect to this end, right? Because if you know, if you know the diagram of the Houston race, four arms are there, one resistor here, one resistance here, one like this, and we connect from the middle. So here is the one resistance. In the gap, we'll put here in the right gap unknown resistance. So two resistance from the middle will connect the galvanometer, and this uh, conductor or the wire will be divided into two parts, which will work as a two more resistors. So four resistors are there. So what is the principle? As we have seen in the theory, what we'll do? We'll try to put the jockey here is the jockey, and we'll test a different uh, position. We'll put at different positions of the where where we'll get the zero deflection in the galvanometer. The zero deflection means the current is not flowing through at the uh, mid uh, section. That means I Z is zero. So our aim is to check at different positions where uh, we are getting zero deflection. In the galvanometer, so that the null current will be able to find, and at that position will not down the L1 and L2. Suppose it is the point is let's say 55 or 56, 55.5 or 56. Now the right part you can minus 100 minus 55, right? So that you will get the length. This length also will get. So the resistance of right gap divided by uh, left gap divided by left side of the length then unknown resistance divided by right side length this is our equation we will cross multiply you will find out the unknown resistance right now let us see and take some reading so we will fix our unknown resistance which we have kept here in the block key uh, we have just removed the block so that it's disconnected in between you can just hold it in some wooden one or some cardboard also just to hold that we have used that there is no purpose to use the block here so to fix the resistor tightly we have used that so now you can put the your non resistance here in the right gap once you take the reading, you can exchange the position, the resistance box to the right gap and the block key to the left gap so that you can get an average, average or uh, unknown resistance. So now we'll switch it on. Huh. The, another terminal of the battery, one terminal as I have told, it will go here, another terminal to the mid position here, this terminal, so that to register the up part in between we are connecting the providing the battery and in the below two resistors are there this as a conductor right different parts of the conductor l1 and l2 now galvanometer will be connected from the midpoint right it's from the middle you know the circuit right you, if you so another terminal of the galvanometer will be connected to the jockey rod this one is the jockey so it will be from the middle to a jockey and term of the jockey and you know this is not connected in huh? this rod now what we'll do uh, let us switch on the circuit so let us switch it on now our circuit is in on position and we we'll What we'll do, we'll take out some of the resistance from the left gap from the resistor. Let's say 5000. I'll take out 5000 ohm. Now I'll switch it on. Now I'll switch it on again. And I'll check at various position. I'll just press it. I'll not see the deflection. Pressing, I'll see the 
deflection in the galvanometer let us see galvanometer is not zero that means some current is flowing at this position so i'll shift this my jockey to the left and check if i'm shifting to the left you can see more deflection that means i have to shift to the right so by trial and error method i have to shift to different position now you see that the deflection is going down i'll bring it further closure and you see almost no deflection at this point so i'll note down this position as my right length that is it's approximately 52 point from the middle it's approximately uh, 52 52.1 now i'll subtract from 100 100 minus 52.1 so you'll be writing it's approximately uh, 48 or 47.9 now once you know the length just i'll divide this 5000 by uh, 49 that my right left gap and right gap is x unknown divided by 52.1 right so this equation will give me my unknown resistance value now let us do the calculation so this is done the experiment is done right just i'll uh, interchange the position this unknown resistance to the left gap and the resistance box to the right gap so that i'll repeat the experiment i'll give get a different l1 and l2 and i'll I, I, i'll just average it out right and uh, i'll get different set of experiment uh, data how will you get I'll, I'll here i have taken out 5000 ohm now i'll let's say i'll try for 4000 ohm i'll take two suppose let me switch it off so this is one data i got let's say next data i'll take for 7000 5000 plus 2000 now this one is providing a 7000 ohm resistance now i'll switch it on you'll see that at this position i'll not get that zero deflection so i have to shift the position of the jockey further to the yeah so you see now i, I got a new l1 and l2 at 49 foot uh, 49.3 or 4 i am getting my right l1 or length uh, at right and 100 minus this one i am getting from the left right so this is another data so like that you will take three to four reading right and you will calculate the unknown resistance value so let me calculate and show you for one set of data for the left gap let's say after the use always switch it switch off your power source now let's go and calculate now you see the calculation my I have taken 5000 my first reading in the left gap from the resistance box 5000 and my length come uh, came for the first reading approximately 50 it was around 52.1 the uh, right length left length was 100 minus 52.1 that is 47.9 right so this is my equation this 5000 left by left by right by right x by 52 i'll cross multiply and check so 5000 multiplied by uh, 52.1 so i'm getting uh, 2605 zero zero divided by 47 divided by 47 point nine which is giving 5400 47 point nine which is giving us approximately 5400 
38 ohm or 5.438 kilo ohm so this is the resistance unknown resistance we are getting now next set our x equation was i have taken 7000 and i got my again let me try i got somewhere around i got somewhere around 49 okay. let me calculate so i got around 7000 and the value was around 49 this one right side 49 point um, 3 something like that so it will be 50.7 right so you can multiply this 7000 multiplied by uh, 49.3 it's giving you 345100 Four five one zero zero by forty seven by fifty point seven divided by fifty point seven is giving you six thousand eight hundred. So maybe some errors are there. I have to check properly. It's giving you six thousand eight hundred zero six. It should be closed. Means it shouldn't be much. Uh, differ right if uh, such variation comes you can repeat the experiment right so this is the calculation problem now you can change the position and you can calculate uh, you can uh, calculate the for the left gap in the unknown and right gap in in the uh, in the right gap in the resistance box right so this is the procedure to find out the unknown resistance unknown resistance of uh, a meter bridge